Hello everyone, it's Regina from The Cutting Cafe. Uh, today I wanted to share with you um, a word book that comes from The Cutting Cafe. Uh, we're going to start um, selling a lot of different word books um, at the cafe and this is uh, the first of many to come. Um, this one is Summer. Um, and I just want to show you quickly um, how I put it together um, and how simple they are really. Um, this particular one is approximately 10 by 4 inches and I just kind of went ahead and put some basic colors on it. Um, as the summer goes, I will decorate it accordingly. Um, I'm not going to worry about if my daughter has on a pink shirt because I'll just, you know, work with it with the pages in here. I wanted to get the basics done so that it makes it go a little bit quicker when I add um, the pictures inside the book. Um, this template will come in PDF and of course the PDF you can do it two ways. You can hand cut and they're very easy to hand cut. Um, as you can see pretty much it's just square lines. Um, the only difficult part would be cutting inside the middles which you could use a craft knife for and everything else is pretty straightforward. And um, also with the PDF you can use your um, Cricut if you have the short cuts a lot um, software or basically the scale software um, and then also it comes with a WC file which is great for those that have a cutting machine like the puzzles or the boss cut gazelle I use my boss cut to cut this out I first cut it out with chipboard you can kind of see the thickness here with chipboard then also each one of the letters come by themselves I cut each letter out in chipboard and then I adhered I adhered my pattern paper to that I distressed them up a whole lot I'm just using some regular distress hard distress uh, this one is coarse um, distressing um, paper that you can get from Home Depot I don't buy any of that other stuff from the craft stores just kind of roughed it up a lot and then I used my ink pad to um, distress it with that then I roughed it up some more the more rougher it looks the better um, then I went ahead and just adhered mines with these binder rings um, I might have to put some bigger ones on it as I fill up the book and it gets a lot thicker so um, just to do a rundown real quick what I've put in so far I put in um, this little round circle that comes from the summer circle words it's a summer memory summer memories did a little stitching different little um, um, things to make the 2010 I've got uh, what is this um, oh gosh I can't think I've got felt here a sticker zero a metal one and another sticker zero kind of bent up the edges of the circle here a little bit then it says what we did, where we went, and then there's like a together here um, rub on. And then some other little chipboard um, flowers here, um, add a little staple. And so far I've only got the first page done, which another thing, I'm not going to put them in order. If I have a lot bigger pictures, I might go directly to the M. So there's kind of no um, way to do this. It's kind of go as you want to do it actually. The first one here is just a picture of my, and I'll warn you, this is a snake if you don't like snakes. Um, my son um, found a snake in the backyard and he captured it. And this is um, says capture on here with a rub on. Another little tree sticker. Um, and then this little adventurous, adventurous boys comes from the All About Boys set from the cafe. And this arrow comes from the assorted arrows from the cafe site. Then just a little sticker here of a ruler with the, how long the snake was. And then for, since I wanted to put um, what this picture was more about, I just added a little pocket here. And then there's a little uh, note that's in the inside. Pretty much what this note says is we kind of live around wetlands. So we've got several small and big creatures that live around us. And my husband is afraid of snakes. I'm not. I actually think all the gardener snakes control um, little voles and different things in your backyard. So it helps out. It helps to have them in the backyard, but he doesn't like them. 
So I think this is going to be a bad year for snakes. I don't know what it has to do with the rain. I don't know what it is, but it's a bad year for snakes and it's a bad year for voles. So he told my son the other day, for every snake you catch dead or alive, he'd give him $40. Well, big mistake because um, he found one the very first day. So I said, no, no deal on that. So that's kind of what that talks about. Um, the rest of the pages are not filled in. Um, like I said, I'll fill them in as I go. I've also noticed that as I got through um, some of the pages, like my E here, was starting to fall off. So I just stapled it, which is great. I think it acts to the whimsical look of it. And also, um, I didn't, you know, put anything on the back sides of the letters, just kind of on the front sides of them. So uh, that's about it. Um, on the back, I added one of my little um, handmade circle labels here, which are great because this is basil back here. And if you try to stamp on that with a handmade stamp, you're surely to get it messed up. So with these handmade labels, you can just stick right on the back and um, don't have to worry about it messing up on the back. To tell you the truth, I'm actually looking forward to this book getting even more and more rugged over time because I just think the oldness of it um, just add, actually adds to the character. So um, I just wanted to pop in really quick and show how easy the summer books are um, easily to be made and look out for a whole lot more word books to come to the Cutting Cafe. Also, we're going to be featuring a lot more titles for your layouts. And we're going to be featuring a lot more huge, really huge stamps um, to go on your layouts. I think they're cute to have like a big old, um, like one of the ones on there is a big cupcake. Have a cupcake on the corner, um, kind of like big on the corner of your layout. And then maybe a picture right on the side. Um, you know, I just think huge um, die cuts are cute on layouts. They kind of take up a lot of page and you don't have to be busy with uh, the rest of the page. So anyways, um, thanks for visiting me today and have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.